Hello everyone. Um, this episode we are going to do uh, how I put my uh, bubble. It's called adjuster bubble to my fishing line. So I got my gear here and also I bought two of this so this one I already opened it on the back side of this thing it's cost under four dollar each so it's made from a plastic and also made from a hundred percent renewable soft wood material what good about this adjuster bubble is it's it's not gonna it just said no lie damage no tidying just twitch and go and it's made from double tackle x by rainbow plastics and it's totally made in usa and on the back side it's also telling you how to uh set this thing up and that's what we are going to do so I got this one and I open it up and this is uh make sure I got it the right way because the way the shape of this thing and want to make sure it's go to the right direction so this is the tip of my ugly stick right and I'm just gonna and then this is my fishing line the end end of my fishing line so the the side it's this this thing it's have just a uh, a little the hole that you can put your fishing line go through like that and then that's how this fishing line come out after you put it through and I wanted to make sure they also on the top of this thing because i don't want to deal with the uh a little stopper or any kind of anything that just uh it's the layer of it and if if uh i have i also have a different bobler show and if i'm going to set it up and i'll do it in in a different episode so this this thing also you you can just pay with this top part here and you kind of pull it up and you can see it's a little it's like a rubbery thing that's very uh like a little lid that you can just put it in and then when you add the water or where you are fishing with you just put add a little water to it and it's have like a little uh container that you can just scoop a little bit of water into it and then that's lit cords and that's how you are set up with this uh just add a bubble up and then the lights the length of to which and then you just twitch the prox and then you're all done and it's pretty much uh it's it's also it make it flexible to whatever how deep of the water go and this thing will will do is you know it's on an autopilot or if any kind so that's pretty much and you wanted to make sure that before you doing this you wanted to get into the right direction of where this 
bought the go to your rod and it have a the the narrow point it's going this way you know go touch your your hand your handle so that's what uh, just the big head it go up towards the top of your uh your fishing pole that's what i just you know remember it's easy to remember for me that way so and that's pretty much because i'm still a beginner and uh i'm gonna go out and try it out and see what's uh available for me out at the water and i want to give it a try and that's pretty much how i setting it up let me know if you like this episode and is it helpful or what not let me know and the other end of this you just basically just tie it in one of these in like that and then you have the arm that's what i'm going to tie this one in like that and the way i set it up it's uh i'm using a method of tiling knots and that's how i'm going to set it up my my rig so we'll just do them together so basically you just do whatever the knots that it'll suit you and make you comfy about you're not gonna lose anything and you're gonna get fish cut some fish and all that so you just put the second end of this to the, the eye of the, the thing and then you put it over and have a little rope hold on to it with your thumbs and your index and I, from the recipe books instructions say you do it like five times basically so that's what I'm gonna do so one two three four and five after five you just put it back to the loop that you create we are doing the tiling not setting up this floating set of uh, floating fishing method and then just pull it down and tighten it up and I'm just use my fingernail to help adjusting this and that's pretty tight right here and then I'm just gonna trim off whatever my Hi, girl. existing excess left for my um, so and that's uh it look like this And also, uh, I'm gonna tie this fake eggs and tie this handmade for try to fish for the steelhead setup. And I also have this clear bobbler on my 
fishing pole and this is I uh, using my uh, ugly stick and this is the top of my the fishing rod okay and you just basically just put two this it's have a little hole in the middle of it and I'm not gonna uh, put water in until I'm going to the river and then I'm just gonna lift this thing up and then just put a little water in it and close it up so you, what I need to do is I just need to trim off uh, the fishing line which is I use the Tylen XL smooth casting and I cut it out about 18 inches long and then one end of the fishing line you just put it to the eye of this fake eggs and this specific uh hooks it just accordingly to the the law and regulation it's come with a different size of it and it's pom pom eggs it's it's okay to use for the steel head so it look like that and then in somehow you want it to make a little loop at the end of uh your hooks eyes here because it allow your to move it freely whatever direction the fish gonna have a bite on it but for me i'm gonna uh, just do a simple tiling a simple knot that just basically uh I'm just gonna explore it to what I feel comfortable with and I'm just gonna give it to try because I want to make sure the knot is uh, keep keep it in my lie and that's what I was trying to do when you doing the uh, 18 cut out inches for this you need to make sure you keep plenty of uh, line maybe cut out 20 or 19 to give yourself a extra room because when you tie it down the the knots that you are working on like I am doing now you're gonna have to give yourself uh, some sort of a cut cut out and it's gonna shot you up but if you cut about 20 inch 20 inches of the length then it will be perfect for your fishing expedition so the the pro suggests that you if you have more skill than me you need to leave the loop right at the end of the eye of this hook to help making this the little tiny eggs fake eggs here the pom-pom eggs to be able to move freely but I used the tiny knot and tied it all the way down and tied it really good because I want to make sure I got the fish and I will learn 
in a different technique with the loop at the end there too so that's what my then i'm just gonna give it a little tidying up i just cut off the excess excess so and this is what it looked like on this end So, and then I'm just gonna use this, the other side of this, with the swivel of my fake eggs. And also, I also use the tiny knots, same. Go through the eye again, go on to a little loop, do twist it at least five times, I would say. That's what the instruction I learned, they told. But then I count it one, count it two. Then pull. So here my tiny knot. One side of swivel attached to the other side of fake egg like that. Now I'm going back to my. This is the tip of my fishing fishing pole and of course this the finished product one side is swivel and the other side is the egg and then I'm going to attach with this floating setup that I did it earlier you just basically put through the middle of the the thing after you open the package and you just tie the end of the rod to the other side of a swivel just like that and I will trim it trim the this left over or excess of my work on the other side of Sovo too, okay? Just like that. So you just do another tidy knot. Go to the eye. Hold on to it. So I am a beginner, and if you guys have more skill and want to add on anything, let me know. That am I missing? Hmm. Tell me. the story about the fishing of my own journey so okay here my fifth one so number five then I'm just going back to the eye that I was starting with Then pull. So 
Hello. Okay, she was still fingernail. Hang with it. Make sure it's tight. And now, since I'm too lazy to get out my work earlier to cut my excess, I just do it at one time on both sides of my soul, my spin here, Mr. Spinner. So I finally able to cut it on both sides and that's it. So summary the whole setup. Basically you can see this thing move freely and that's what I wanted. When it go to the water, I will lift up this thing just like that. Put it in a little water, close it down, and this also acting as a stopper too because the flotation it just stop right here. And then the other end of it, just this raw eggs that I should to tie it in on this one. So, and that's the summary of uh, what uh, I also have another lie of this. And I wanted to just pre pre made it my own, just like that. And I'm still gonna uh, do the tiny knot as well on this guy. It feels good to touching this uh, little rubbery on top and then very like a fa furry and fairly like princess. <laughs> I'm just making it up from the uh, local fry shop. So after the fifth, I put this one back to the loop that I made. How oh, those things sharp. And that's that. So um, that was that. And that's, I'm just gonna, this is, I just prepped it for a spare when I want to chain my, my lure to a, a different one. Then I got this one ready. Then just trim that off. And then make sure it's test it out. And that's pretty good. And then this end I'm not gonna 
put anything on just like that so it's about 20 inches long for my spare one so now this is uh what it should look like and then when i'm in the area and the water that i'm at what i'll do if i wanted to shame my lure then i'll just put this guy and tie it in with this little spin right here on this eye and take this one out and then that was that so this is my setup. I hope you like my uh this episode about how to set up the floating fishing and I do this one specifically for the Yuba River California located on off the highway twenty. And I'm trying to catch the steelhead. I hope you like my uh, setup. And if you do, please give me a thumbs up. And let me know how fish out there. Give me a fish report or give me a comment. And if you happen to come in and visit my channel and watching until the end. but I was unable to land it and it just happened
I lost it though, but it's okay. It was so fun. So if you are uh, interested in fishing in the river and fishing for steelhead, and this is uh, what it's recommendation and for the beginner like me got to the uh, use some of the experience and learn from the other that uh, was very good with professional for fishing for steelhead and this is what a recommendation is so you're gonna need those and in the store is not that uh, expensive two of these cost about three dollar and eighty nine cents and also just I used the site site 10 of the wall name site 12 also at the local fire shop this is what it's recommend to use to this Yuba River in California look at how pretty that is so this is all handmade and uh, and this is the right way to use it for uh, you know you don't want to get any ticket and you want it to know what you're doing and this is just uh, you know the fake eggs so and this whole thing it's cost about 30 bucks and the handmade thing from the uh, local professional made one also it cost about uh, eight dollar and 38 cent you need to go get a california fishing license for just a special type of fishing which is uh this is for add-on that you wanted to fishing for steelhead permit okay eight dollar and 38 cent and this is what uh, you are 2022 still head report card look like it's good until the end of the year and in this thing it'll tell you you need to report anything that you catching over 16 inches and of course, uh, steelhead is uh, in danger, and you wanted to make sure that you read all of this uh, law and regulation because uh, we wanted to make sure the fish is still in the nature and still have the life cycle and still available in this world also they're also telling you how to after you identify which one to keep and which one to let it go by checking this fin on the back side close to the tail then this is how you record it like how long you were fishing for and where you were at 
that's the example of how you support to keep it your record and then they also prefer after you record to this you can go and submit it online or just you know put it in online and report to this website it will be helpful to keep the records and all that so there are some uh, regulation about how you fishing under the title 14 section 1.74 requirement also keep it in mind that uh, you can use the live bait on Yuba River and you cannot uh, use also any sense that uh, make your lure more attraction so and also the other one is you can only use this type of uh, hooks that's uh, you can use this but not a regular three hooks and no barber at the end of the hook here so single hook is good so make sure you uh, know a little bit about uh, which water are you going to go do your fishing for steelhead as I am a beginner of uh, learning how to fish for steelhead I'm still learn but um, it's a lot to it but this is so far what I'm gonna start with my uh, fishing for steelhead and most of the time uh, I do some research about this steelhead they can take so many years for the person that uh, try to fish for the steelhead but never get it very hard to hard fish to get so if you caught one so like you know they eat up the fishing like heavenly fishly fishing person you are an angel become angel of fishing so i would suggest uh because i'm gonna try fishing more at yuba river because uh it's well known of this steelhead where they are uh, located and it's very hot down at the Yuba River along Highway 20 and that's pretty much I wanted to uh, talk about what I'm prepared for my uh, fishing gear and um, more of the how I put them together and all another thing so I still have to do some research and learn if you the beginner I hope you like this video because I'm still learning I'm not know a whole lot but if you guys this video please uh, hit like and comment if you like and thank you for uh, watching what I was going to use for my steelhead fishing and go out there and enjoy your fishing and you can see my next video thanks